the first week of this trip has been good, but it's kind of been relaxing and I'm, you know, we've been in beautiful places, camped in beautiful spots, but I'm, you know, really looking forward for a challenge. And I just think that, yeah. So we are about to go to And I think this will be one of the best experiences and the most extreme experience so far. That's so incredible. Training in the desert, baby. Okay, Tom. Sehr guter Einstand. Mhm. Oder? We reached the desert. We are here for around 10 minutes. We had a really thunderstorm. It's really crazy. Unbelievable. Not quite sure if you can see it, but we are facing a sandstorm which is coming right at us. We're building our tents right now and we have to hurry. Uh, it's almost there. Uh, so fast you can't, you can't even tell. So Chris recommend me to put a rock like this. So that's uh, to prevent the sand from getting in. Lift something. Watch mm -hmm. out. This. Oh, watch out the like scorpion. scorpion. Have you ever get bitten by scorpion before? No. Okay. Hi everyone, uh, day nine. Right now, the most exciting moment is happening. What an experience! I can't even tell. It's so crazy. This is so crazy. So, girls are responsible for dinner tonight. We're making some sort of pasta in absolutely crazy conditions. Like, I still have a sand flowing in my face. Through this tiny mesh, absolute crazy. <laughs> Look at this, it's so crazy. So, I think the safest place is inside the car. Look how this tents are flying away. All right, the storm is kind of over. Everyone is on the top of the hill. Coming up! Oh boys! Our camp. It's pretty nice feeling here. Not a lot of people can say that they camped in the desert and survived a sandstorm. I have never been to the desert before. I've been in some relatively extreme environments in the mountains and in the ocean, but even this small taste of the desert has been such an eye-opener to such a unique environment.
This is very special, and this is what I signed up for when I came on this trip. Good morning, everyone. I celebrate my birthday morning up here. Watching sunrise. Sun still keep going up. And um, I would say this is my best sunrise on Earth. Watching the sunrise on a sand dune. Check. So we have Michelle driving the car today. Easy. Slowly making our way deeper into the desert. Okay, we are in Tamgrut. It means the last village before the desert. And we're about to visit a library, I think. Yeah, we visit the library. There is about 4,000 books, all the hands write it. Uh -huh. And then we'll say the shrine in the family of the library. Then we travel to the old Kasbah to say hi, people still living in the Kasbah and to say the ceramics. All right. Inshallah. Inshallah. I am Abdul from Tamgrut. Welcome to Sahara. Thousands will come in the Vista. And now we are visiting a kind of shrine where people come to get the baraka. It's a blessing uh, that kind of helps in difficult situations when you don't know what to do or uh, when you have a moral, psychic problem. And all these people, they live to get the baraka. They come all from Morocco, from Rabat, from Tanji, Marrakesh, all different places of Morocco. And they can stay here. They have place, they have houses. They can stay living there. They have food. They have all it is necessary without paying because it's the helping by other people. And it's like that uh, the, the, these people live in. So in summer, when it's very hot outside, okay. mm -hmm. because we have day for 50, 55 outside, oh, wow. inside of the Kasbah, it's very big difference. This is pretty impressive. People live here because it's too hot outside, 50 degrees, so they come here. And this is 18, 18 to 20 degrees. This is the first level, and then there are three more. I was visiting uh, those uh, nomad mm. people living in such harsh conditions, and I saw on their faces they have this, uh, those symbols and this tattoo that I was really excited about. And I felt like really connected to, mm -hmm. to this like woman. And now we're going to see this is uh, his job is doing ceramics, building jars, creating jars, and this is where they do it. I got my little thing here, <laughs> homemade. I guess I could use it as a cup. Day 12! 
up and it's hot! All right, boys and girls. Guess who's made it to Sahara Desert second time? We've been on the road, or what it seems to be a road, for several hours. Now we stop because we have to reduce the pressure in the wheels. When we come to very soft sand, mm -hmm. we release the tire pressure even more, and now we go down to 1.2 bar. So we can continue going through the sand dunes and yes hopefully we're gonna find a spot for camping for tonight let's have some fun no seriously you could do it you want to do it Now we are stuck. We have to give the axle a bit of clearance again, and then I guess with some sandboards, he will be good to go. So we arrived in the desert. And it's magical. All these different shapes, all like looking like waves. It's beautiful. So shooting the Milky Way here in the desert, I think it's just perfect. Yeah, perfect we condition. don't have any light pollution yeah. since all the big cities and villages are like far, far away. Yeah. And also the scenery with the dunes is like just perfect. And this is the final shot. And it's so amazing. You can see it with your bare eyes, but through the camera, it's like even better. I'm, um sure you can't see the stars but they're wonderful tonight i hope i don't have to cuddle with any snakes or spiders but it might be worth it night morgen so nachdem wir eine sehr kurze nacht hatten aber eine sehr geile nacht auch ähm, haben wir uns trotzdem noch geschafft rauszuqueren beziehungsweise theresa Ist schon wach. Hm. Scheiße. Ich bin auch wach und ja, für ein schönes Bild beim Sonnenaufgang hier in der Wüste. All right, everyone. I would love to give you a little tour. So here is a dune called Urkaska. So here we have kitchen and we are making dinner right now. Hello, Christine. Hello. Kitchen visiting. Can you share with me what's the menu today? The menu today is uh, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. my bed put it outside because look like tonight the sky gonna be quite clear so I might have a chance to see stargazing so in this specific area of the desert if the winds are coming from the west in the morning typically that's gonna mean you're gonna have relatively good weather it should be a good day for travel if it's coming from the east you have a higher chance of there being higher sandstorms and you shouldn't be traveling in sandstorm typically if I'm in the outdoors in a situation that is less than just a little couple hour hike I always have long sleeves long pants good boots a head covering even at night in the desert it can get quite cold and being able to keep that heat 
when you need it, but then also keep the sun off during the day is very important. Don't produce as much sweat. Sweat is water, and you need to then refill that water to keep sweating, to keep your body cool. See you back at camp. All right, so Sammy and me. <laughs> um, and we're searching for a dune that is like not, you see like, our footprints are all over the dunes, so we're gonna find a new dune. Ah! Oh, it's right. Das sind Wüstenspringmaus. Oh, okay. Yeah? So it's like mouses. Und for the desert. das ist meine ich viele Spuren, uh -huh. aber das ist meine Hauptstraße. <laughs> so and here we found really small little footprints and some yeah things that these are like the ones of a spider this is the sahara desert and it's 60 degrees and this is how what we do Sleeping in the shade. What's up? How do you feel? Really hot. <laughs> How do you feel? Cooking, cooking. We spent the whole day in the desert and the sun was so freaking hot. That means one thing, that this solar battery is fully charged. It's basically charging the big ass EcoFlow battery that's inside the car. We actually have four of these batteries. What are you doing? I'm trying to make some bread. Uh, I don't think this is a toaster. It's an EcoFlow. Oh. Okay, yeah, so we have a lot of gadgets and a lot of things to charge and it's All really right, Morgan, crazy. Morgan, enough of that. Let's go. I want to recharge my batteries now. Oh, yeah. Recharge them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this is how we try to be as uh, energy independent as possible on this trip. Stay tuned for our future adventures. Yay!